In this tutorial, I'll cover editing drum sounds in the Drum Set Editor tab. First, I need to select a drum to edit. I do this in the Drum List simply by clicking on it. On top, there are additional buttons to create a drum, duplicate the selected one, delete it, etc. If you want to simply set up your own sample, the easiest way to do that is drag it from your file explorer and drop it here, provided your host program allows you to do that. MDrummer will import it and create a velocity layer for it. You can also drag and drop multiple samples and MDrummer automatically creates velocity layers from them. Or you can go manual and select a sound generator yourself. Another useful feature here is grouping of sounds that will mute or choke each other. The typical example is hi-hat when closed and pedal hi-hats choke the open hi-hat. To set it up, select hi-hat and check open hi-hat, then select pedal hi-hat and do the same thing. That's all. Next down is the Drum Properties panel. You are already familiar with most of these parameters from the Mixer tutorial. The most important one to mention is the drum type, which speeds up the workflow tremendously. By selecting a drum type, MDrummer automatically maps the drum to proper MIDI keys by General MIDI or GM standard and sets a few other parameters, such as name and panorama. It also uses the drum type when performing automatic gain actions. It just tries to do automatically as much as possible for you. When it comes to the MIDI mapping, you can change it on the keyboard in the Advanced panel. But it's usually best to keep the default GM compatible settings. Before we move any further, let's explore a signal flow diagram. Each drum can hold unlimited numbers of layers. First, each voice is rendered using an appropriate layer and its associated layer source. The output is processed using drum gain, volume and layer gain. These adjust the signal level before FX pipeline. Thus, if you use level dependent effects like distortion or compression, these parameters will influence the sound as well. The output is then processed using the FX pipeline and another set of gains follow. The output gain and output volume. These take care of the level after effects and the output volume is the one we find in the mixer. I guess your brain is about to explode. But just give me one more minute and you will see how simple it really is in practice. First, get the sound you want working with layers and generators. Next, click on the Auto Gain In button and MDrummer will sort out the level before effects for you. Then apply effects, set the volume parameter if it matters. Now click on the Auto Gain Out button and MDrummer will sort out the output level. That's all. Quick mixing at its best. Moving on, a few words about the generators. The sampler is a basic sampler with level and pitch envelopes. The scratcher is a sort of similar thing, but it lets you control the playback position as an envelope. That way, it lets you be quite creative with the samples. The multi sampler is the most advanced sampler here. It uses proprietary multi sample formats specifically designed for drums. Each multi-sample contains usually hundreds of samples with automatic velocity layering, alternating hits in each layer and potentially multiple microphones. This is the choice for acoustic drums. Multi-samples are currently available only in the factory packs, but it is possible that the generator for multi-samples will or already is released. So if you are into sampling acoustic drums, this may be the dream come true.
The subsample synth is a proprietary synthesizer doing amazing sound transformation. Great source for sound design. Another interesting tool for people with good hands is Synthesizer 4NN. It's like a generalized drum synthesizer on steroids, especially useful for electronic drums. Of course, it has a randomized function for people like me. Good luck and have fun making great sounds with M Drummer.